What's up everyone, Magna Pelta here with Velo Hit, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to clip in and out of SPDSL pedals and mountain bike pedals for beginners so that you can know how to get in and out safely, comfortably, with no problems during your rides. Let's get started. Okay, to get started I wanted to identify the different types of shoes. This is the SPDSL. And with the SPDSL, you'll notice a difference because the cleat sits right underneath the sole of the shoe. This is a road cycling shoe, and so you'll see that underneath them you'll have either nylon or a carbon fiber composite. This here is a carbon fiber composite, and so the cleat gets mounted right on top of that plate. Once you flip it around, you have this shape here. It looks kind of like a horseshoe in a way. And this is what's going to be going inside the pedal when you're clipping in. So just to get an idea of what it looks like. And when you clip it in, you'll see that you have an SPDSL road pedal. And these are dedicated, these two. So when you're clipping in your pedal, you wanna aim that front end right there, the cleat, into the front of the pedal, just like so. And then what you do is you simply push down a little bit with your weight and it clips right inside of the pedal. And I'm not going to do it right now because my shoe won't come out. <laughs> and I'll show you why in the next steps. So let's get into that. And then we have the mountain bike cleats. These are the SPD style cleats. And the difference between this and the road style cleat is that the cleat is recessed. And you can see that here, whereas the road style cleat extrudes from the sole of the shoe, whereas this one is planted in between a piece of rubber on the sole that makes it easy for you to be able to walk, just like regular shoes. So in terms of the differences, if you're a beginner, you might want to start with mountain bike cleats. It's just a little bit easier for you to get in and out the pedal. You can balance a little bit easier when you're walking, and it's just a little bit all more safer, if you ask me. But if you want to jump right into gear, of course, jump right into the cycling shoes and if that's the bike you're gonna be riding you want to learn there all right so everyone I have my road cycling shoes on and I'm currently on the sidewalk here and I like to just kind of get acclimated to having them on because it's gonna be a lot of a difference much of a difference when you're in your regular shoes as opposed to having cleats on in cycling shoes you're gonna feel a bit raised in the front of the shoe and that's because of the cleat in the front here and so it's important to just cut a Walk around a little bit, feel comfortable in the shoes before you begin to get onto the bike. Now, what I recommend if you're a beginner starting out, obviously if you're watching this video, you're a beginner, you want to practice clipping in and out against uh, a wall or a fence, or if you're in nature, you can find the tree and simply hold on to the tree. And what you want to do is stand right next to your bike and then you can begin to get on it like so and then you can sit on your bike like so and then hold on to the tree or in this case the fence before you begin to figure out which leg you want to clip into first now there's a leading leg that you have to think about here and that's mainly your dominant leg in order to figure that out you could do one of two things you could stand up straight and have your friend just give you a push to see which leg stands out first. If it's your left leg, that's gonna be your dominant leg. If it's your right leg, it's gonna be your dominant leg. And so that's what you wanna clip into first, all right? And me, I, my dominant and leading leg is gonna be my right leg. So that is what I wanna clip into first with. So first, what I wanna do is just go ahead and clip inside the pedal. To do that again, you want to just make sure that you lead in with the front of the cleat and fit it inside the pedal, the SPDSL pedal, and then simply put your weight on it to push it down. You're going to hear a snap. That snap is the entire cleat clipped into the pedal. Now the next step, what you want to do, is begin to just hold on to the fence or the tree, wherever you are in nature, and then you want to clip in the other pedal. Now I'm clipped in all together on both sides of the pedals. To unclip from the pedal, what you wanna do is pivot your heel to get out of the pedal. To do that, let's make it 
about a 90 degree angle for the crank arm so that you could clip in without having to drop your leg on the other side and simply pivot that heel outward away from your crank arm just like so and it releases from the pedal do that again let's clip back in remember the front of the feet gets right inside the front of the pedal and then push down a little bit of your weight to unclip simply kick out the rear of your heel by pivoting out away from the crank arm and it comes right out okay again just like so so now since you advanced from the beginner's phase to clipping in and holding on to a fence or a tree wherever you are maybe you're inside of your house or your apartment your garage you can lean on a wall once you mastered that, you wanna be able to try doing this without holding anything, all right? This is the advanced move. This is gonna make you get on the road and you'll be able to start clipping in and out without any problems at this point. To do that, again, similar like before, we're gonna get onto the bike, like so. And you wanna just, again, put your leading leg into the SPD SL cleat, like so. Okay, now again, your leading leg is going to be your dominant leg. That's the leg that you're going to be pushing off in order to clip in. You need to have some momentum before you clip into the other pedal. So once your leading leg is clipped in, you want to begin to just push off and start riding forward with a little bit of speed and then begin to clip in your other foot so that the bike can stay upright and it doesn't fall over and you don't fall over. To clip out of the pedal while you're riding, just go ahead and just take out your non-dominant leading leg. To me, it's my left. And then you want to begin to aim where you want to stop. And then put your leg down and simply unclip from the other leg. Okay? Keep in mind is your leading leg clips in first. When it's time to stop the bike, your opposite leading leg should unclip first so that you're balanced on the bike and then you unclip your leading leg last when, it's begin when you wanna get out of the pedals. So you're riding on the road and you're freaking out because you can't unclip from your pedals. What do you do in a situation like that? Because it's happened to me before and it happens to the best of us. Even the pros are unable to clip out. So when that happens, try not to freak out, all right? Try to just maintain your calmness but when that happens in situations you want to just wiggle as much as you can wiggle your foot as much as you can and try to get it out there okay so even if that means like a few times left and right just try to wiggle it out wiggle it out to unclip okay if you're having some problems getting out of your cleats which can sometimes happen your cleat can get stuck inside the pedal it can possibly be because of the type of SPDL cleat that you're riding. There are three different style cleats. There are zero degree float cleat, three degrees of float, six degrees of float. Now you wanna make sure you have the right float in your cleat because it's gonna determine how stiff it is to get in and out of the pedal. I have a video that I'm gonna leave right here that talks about the different style cleats that you should purchase before you get on the bike and begin to clip in. The yellow being the most float is going to be able to give you the opportunity to pivot left and right, up and down, and be able to get out of the pedal a little easier than the zero degree, which is the red cleat. It's going to make it super hard to get out. It's much stiffer. So you want to keep that in mind when purchasing cleats. Now this wraps up the video with learning how to clip in and out of cycling pedals. This is the SPDSL cleats. Now keep in mind for beginners, you want to do this inside your house, inside your garage in your apartment against the wall before coming outside. If you're outside, find a fence like I did or a tree that you can lean up against to learn how to clip in and out first before doing it without any support. And those are the fundamentals that's gonna be able to help you be able to get out there with confidence and learn how to clip in and out without having to fall off the bike. If you have any questions about this video, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe and visit VeloHit.com if you'd like to book a session with me and I'll teach you in a one-on-one -on -one session and we can do it together out here in Miami. So I will see you all next time in the next video. Take care.